Hey everybody, welcome to the ride today. Got the, uh, whoa, Scoot's getting away. Got the camera on a chest strap today. So hopefully that works a little better. Uh, hopefully I've got the angle right. Looks okay to me. Hopefully it's running. So what I'm doing today, I'm doing the uh, heavy guy realistic range test. Now, I like to start out here at the Aviation Parkway. It's a, you know, two-minute ride from my house. Uh, so I'm on a absolutely full battery. Um, controller here says, let me get over to it. I have 57.5 uh, 57 volts over here. It was 58 when, before I left the house. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do a, uh, a range, range run on this heavy guy. It's been mentioned that I do things a little weird in terms of my, uh, my use of uh, Imperial versus metric. Yeah, that's just the way I grew up. I use a bit of this, a bit of that. So like I said, I'm a heavy guy. I'm 200 pounds plus. I'm not too sure how much over I am right now, but I had pizza last night, so I'm over. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to be leaving it in first gear. But I'm going to be leaving uh, turbo on, or sorry, yeah, yeah, turbo on, eco off, in dual wheel mode. Because for my purposes, that gets me up to about uh, 38 kilometers an hour, which is fast enough for me. Right now, because I'm still rocking the temporary cast uh, and splint, which i got to tighten up a little bit. I'm still rocking the splint, so i just got to be a little more careful. But yeah, um, going to do some hills gonna do a nice long run I may not kill the battery entirely but a uh, realistic run for what a heavy guy can expect out of a 010 X straight stock no battery mods no nothing new handlebars stuff like that but um, right out of the box what can heavy guy expect um, I'm gonna go probably around the vicinity of 35 to 40 kilometers uh, I'm gonna hit speeds of up to 35 kilometers an hour I'm probably gonna be out for an hour an hour and a half and that's realistically what I can expect, sort of, uh, out of the scooter, uh, in playtime, and without, uh, conserving battery and stuff. So, uh, that's enough yapping. I hope you could hear me well. Uh, let's, uh, let's scoot! Gotta say, with the, <coughs> the, um, the splint cast on instead of the, the fiberglass, Fuck, my arm feels so much better. Oh. Rock and roll. Yeah, buddy. Love this scooter. Love it. Heavy guys, this scooter is great. Anything of the equivalent is fantastic. Get yourself one. This is also going to be a bit, a bit of an example today on uh, road etiquette. How to not piss people off on your scooter. Because these things are so up in the air in so many cities, whether they're going to be legal or not. I spent a bunch of fucking money on this, and I don't want you assholes who ride them like fucking maniacs screwing me out of my fun time. So, when you come to one of these, you get off and walk it. push the button, you wait, get off and walk it. Good. 
most people out on these bike paths and stuff, they're jogging and, and power walking and stuff like that, they've got headphones on. So they can't hear you coming. But the law says, the city says, you're supposed to ring the bell once before you come up behind them, giving them ample room and pass on the left. Now when, I, when, when you zip by them and they can't hear you, they get freaked out. So I hit the bell a couple of times, try and let them know. Now when you're crossing these things, you should be walking, but there's nobody else here. I'm looking, so I'm going to make sure I do it at, speed, at walking speed. Cross over. It's, it's all about courtesy, because you can fuck somebody up with one of these things. So, let's not do that. unpredictable. You see that heavy guys? This thing just eats the hills, eh? Eats them. Even if I'm only using single wheel mode, it does real well on those on those uh, hills that aren't as steep. I'm clipping along right now at uh, 36 kilometers an hour. Fast, so nice and smooth. I've got the uh, the hybrid tires on this, on road, off road. I'm thinking about changing them just to the on road. Cause I don't go off road. I don't fuck around with it off road too much. Some gravel paths, but that's it. I didn't buy it to take it fucking trail riding. I bought it for this kind of thing. I want the range out of it. Yeah. Lots of room, especially if they've got long blonde hair. Those ones are Karen. thing about walking your scooter across the roads and stuff like that, if you do that and you get hit, you're a pedestrian and the driver's fucked. If you're on your scooter and you're, you're crossing a road and you get hit, 
yeah, you're battling it out as far as insurance goes. And I don't know anybody who's got insurance on their scooter. In Canada, anyway. There's eight scooter riders. They hate it even more when you walk your scooter across the crosswalks. They just want you to get the fuck out of their way. Then as soon as you start moving, they're pissed off because you're on a scooter. Okay, good hill here. I'm in two-wheel drive mode, first gear. Makes it up the hill, no worries from a dead stop. And continues to accelerate. And I'm not using full gas either. <laughs> Excuse the coughing. Toker's cough, no COVID. Downhill, here we go. Turn the brakes. Gets a little bit of regen. Not much, but a little bit. But I have the brake regen turned down so that um, the system doesn't auto brake for me. Sections like this where I don't push the gas too hard and I just kind of cruise along nice, you can almost forget, especially on the Zero, you can almost forget that you're riding a scooter. You're just standing and cruising along because it's so smooth that the suspension on this thing is, it's like a Cadillac. I mean, you're just floating along on waves. Unless you hit something really sharp, a uh, pothole, it's so smooth. cyclist example. We don't have to stop at stop signs. Wait till we get around all these people here and then we can speed up a bit.
As you can see, I'm no speed demon, not by any stretch. I like to cruise. If I could actually have a license and drive a bike bike, I'd probably have a big Harley Davidson cruiser. Probably never go above 60. <laughs> yeah, kilometers an hour too, not, not miles. I'm not a speed demon at all. I love the look of fast. I love the concept. Once I get up at speed though, I just don't have the confidence up at speed. Had too many accidents, too many broken bones. So, shoots the confidence, and uh, I just don't want to take the risks anymore. I'm too old for that. That's another thing we can uh, discuss, too. These scooters aren't just for kids. No, they're not. 51 years old and I roll around on one. I have a fucking blast on this thing. Alright. Downhill. Yeah, buddy. Ottawa River Parkway. Right past. Look at the... Stop for a quick view here. You'll see everything here. Yeah, it's nice, huh? Apparently, it's clean enough to swim in there now. Get my balls up some summer, I may just take a swim over to the middle island. Give it a shot. Right now, though, just to her.
can't wait for somebody to fucking lip off to me with this camera on. Just can't wait. Thing is, though, is I'm one of those polite, responsible riders. It's probably never gonna happen. We are coming up to the Heavy Guy Hill Tap. I'm going to show you something pretty friggin' cool here. Heavy Guy, this ought to convince you. Oh, I only had single wheel mode on. <laughs> now I got two wheels. Zips up that hill. Well, it was still making it up real slow in single wheel. Guess I'll just leave it there for now. Having a good time, rolling around in first gear anyway. So we're not in dual wheel mode. Sorry about that. We're in single wheel mode. I guess that means my range test is going to be a little bit longer than I thought it was. But that's okay, too. behind these guys when they crank it up, otherwise uh, you end up getting a face full of rocks. So yeah, heavy guy. Another question that I've seen out there are, uh, I'm a heavy guy. How are these brakes? They're like bike brakes and stuff like that? Well, I don't really know much about bicycle brakes, but uh, this has got zoom hydraulic brakes, and I've heard that they're not as good as the nut hydraulic brakes. I, I don't really know why, but uh, the hill we just made it up, we're going to roll back down the hill, and uh, easy on the brakes, I'm using front and rear, and no problem, I can stop any fucking where I want, it's all good. Let's just continue on down the path, there's another brake buster, another hill buster down the way, check that one out too. Side of the path. See you. You guys on the wrong side of the path too. I'm starting to feel a uh, distinct lack of medication in my system. Maybe starting to look for a Medicaid point. Some of you will know what that means, and some of you won't. The ones who don't, well, you shouldn't. 
So once you do, make sure you'll join me somewhere along the ride. I'm going to get some of those gel pat padded palm gloves. My left hand goes numb. on the wrong side of the path, makes life hard for everybody. They're probably going to be the first to bitch if somebody tells them to stop. Fucking people. I'll just make up my own rules as I go. Watch out for dogs. Dogs seem to love to go after students. Don't know why. Make sure it's in two-wheel drive, single gear, no eco mode, uh, and this is a good hill. I've been up and down this hill a few times. So, from a dead stop at the bottom of the hill, big guy, big guy test all the way up. Let's go. <laughs> Breakfast is eaten. Here comes lunch. Yeah, we'll go back for seconds. Oh, look at this. Dinner's up at the top here. Let's go up and get it. Still had fucking... It still wanted to accelerate and try to get away from me going up the hill. Zero Ten x eats hills for breakfast with a heavy guy. See that? Now you can see it down the hill. I'll go the other way so you can get the double view. But, uh... Yeah, look, I mean, man, if this doesn't convince you, is it going to help me on hills? Check out uh, this dude in San Francisco who does the same kind of thing. Man, San Francisco Hills. And he's on a 10X rolling around San Francisco Hills. Ah, oh, yeah. Eat the hills. You can see that, eh? Oh. Too many of these joggers. Just have, have an expression of pain on their face. You could never do that. Why do you want to hurt yourself?
stay away from those dogs. At least two-thirds of the dogs wind up lunging at scooters and snarling and snapping. There's a couple owners out there who don't make much of an effort to stop them either. I love dogs. Some owner's dog fucking kicks, goes and bites me. I'm going to kick the fucking shit out of that owner. Back to the path. How many kilometers are we at so far? Got uh, 55.9 on the battery still. Only done 11 kilometers, so what is that? About uh, seven miles, something like that, I'd say. Six and a half, seven miles. <coughs> Lots of juice left on the battery. The river path ends here, so I guess we'll head back up. I'm not talking to myself, I'm on camera. <laughs> and we'll try the other hill. Turbo. Yeah, let's just put the two-wheel drive on for this. I don't like walking up hills. Zero eat them for breakfast, so let's do it. Chow's down on those hills, just miles, miles, miles for breakfast. Keep on cruising. Ah, I love it. Now we're going to head into Rockcliffe. Go through there, probably hit the canal, turn by, do the big loop all the way home that way. Basically, I'm doing a great big ass rectangle. I should check real soon to make sure the video is still recording. I think it is. I go by all these people real slow. If they own the sidewalk. up to the outlook or the overlook and uh, change the battery there. See what I mean? Just accelerates uphill. No problem whatsoever. Eat some. Do a 35 uphill in first gear. Want to do this shit on a bicycle? Fuck that. I'm on bike path anymore, but I don't fucking care. No people around. Just take it easy through here, so I don't want to wind up in traffic.
12.4 kilometers. Lots of battery left. GoPro is still recording. Still got half the battery here. There we go. Set back on. Still good. Rockcliffe again. That's nice up there. Yeah, I've been up here before. This is nice. Yeah. Come out of two wheel drive mode, even in one. Walking around with masks on outside. That's fucking hilarious. Stop sign, let's just get straight on. Richie, Richie, Richie. Here's the big guy's house. Thanks for legalizing weed. 
Every time I come by here, I'm going to say that, brother. Yeah, man. All right, back onto the onto the road. Yeah. Kickstand is down.
ditch down. camera, maybe swap the battery. <laughs> See what's going down.
get a lot of looks, that's for sure.
quick spin through the old hood on the way home? Sure.
bouncing a little bit. Yep. That's good. Got a crash? They got a crash, huh? Oh, yeah. That jack. Guess we're gonna go down to River Rain and probably head around back that way. Five, 22.3k, 52.8 on the battery over here, but it's all still good. It goes off, duals on. <laughs> okay, let's do it. I remember this, this doesn't go anywhere. Where the fuck do you people learn to drive? Ambulance coming. Get right out of there, fucking road, eh, you dummy.
good bike route. Oh, it's that fucking uh, Lola Street Bingo? Something like that? Drive through COVID processing here. You having a good day? the hill. Love them. Doesn't mind me. I'm not going to speed beam in here because these fucking floors are slippery. Come through here once and the wheels were squealing when they were wet. You never know what kind of substances have been left hanging around in here on the floor, too. Fucking people. I hate people.
to take the road when I can, say, then I'm good up to 50 kilometers, if I want, which I don't. Summer in Ottawa, construction. Guy awake? This guy awake? Handles the bumps with 200, shocks are good, doesn't bottom out on anything. We're just talking city, not going off-road on fucking stumps and stuff, of course. <laughs> 